What up, YouTube? Uh, it is Goblin Tooth, and uh, today I wanted to make a video. I was just watching a video with Joey Carbstrong about. Um, he he was debating this guy who's like, just like I just. He's looking like sleepy as fuck, and he's, I just want to kill an animal. <laughs> um, but the truth is, I've seen those. Uh, traits before in in exactly his entire demeanor his logic everything across the board the guy's a psychopath I know it I've seen it I've met it I've experienced it for a long period of time and uh, the the thing about um, psychopaths and, and veganism is it, it's so lovely it's so lovely because when they argue against veganism there's they tell all they tell all, eventually. Psychopaths can blend in anywhere, except veganism. It's the only place, it's the last vestige where, I mean, you can meet normal people who will argue against veganism, but if you rib them hard enough with the truth, they, they wince and it's from, you force them to face their own compassion. And when they do that, uh, you, there's, a, there's an external physiological response that you can elicit from their limbic system. This is how you can tell. And, and with veganism, it's really easy to do that because you're, the whole time you're appealing to the limbic system. And so, when you do this with a psychopath, there's no response, no excitability at all to the limbic system. And they wear it exactly in their reasoning and on their face and on their body and everything. And that's exactly what Joey uh, Carbstrong uh, experienced here against the guy who just wants to kill an animal. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's great because there's, uh, there's nowhere for them to run um, when veganism, uh, progresses far enough. Now, I, I didn't make this video to talk about, um, Joey's, uh, experience, but actually to sort of frame, uh, I suppose reframe the narrative because the world around us is framed in such a way that, uh, I don't think is accurate to, I, I, I think most people are modeling the world in an inaccurate way. And I want to uh, hypothesize that, that the world, or, or actually it's more like a theory, um, I have a theory that the world is a little bit different than how you're probably framing it. So, um, like I said uh, about the limbic system, so the frame of the world to me appears... I, excuse me, uh, excuse me, I would say there's three kinds of people. There's the clueless, ignorant sheep, um, there's uh, psychopaths, and then there's the psychopath aware people, people who understand psychopaths, people who know what they are, um, what they're up to, why it's important that they're noticed. Um, so, uh, here, let, let me elaborate a little bit for you, um, because I, I have so much experience with psychopaths now. Uh, the, the, they, they don't have a functioning limbic system. Their amygdala is underdeveloped. Their orbitofrontal cortex is fucked. Essentially, what we're looking at is a socially inept person. Actually, actually, Socially inept isn't the right word. Um, they don't feel for you. They they have no capacity to understand why uh, another person would have value. They don't understand ethics or morals. They are a conscienceless creature. Or no 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 sorry, um, a conscienceless thing. They're not actually like us, and uh, we have scientific data to to back this up i'm not just positing this for no reason uh but but also you when you meet them you can see it it, it, it 
ex you can experience it, what it feels like to uh, ha be having a conversation with someone who just isn't there. Uh, just like in American Psycho, yeah. I, I have things that make me up, but I, I, I'm just not there. <laughs> uh, I love that movie, but I hate psychopaths. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, and, and here's the thing. The narrative for most people is you, um, you're born and there's good and bad in the world and, uh, you're just trying to make it, uh, you know, you, you want to maybe get rich, grow up, get a job, have a family, live a nice long life and die, um, something like that. But that's not the whole story. That's not the complete narrative. Um, yeah, you know, all these things might be true, but there's a more important narrative at play, and it's this. So, that's normal people. That is you projecting your psyche into the world. Uh, but what what's actually true is that that person is the ignorant sheep okay because the real narrative is there's there's the ignorant sheep and then there's this other thing that grows up alongside the rest of us they're about one percent and they don't think in those terms what they see is a bunch of prey as they walk through society they see prey and they think if something is vulnerable, how can they hurt it more? And that's all they're looking for. They're looking for something vulnerable to hurt. And so they wander around in the crowd, waiting for someone to look kind of weak. And, and here's, uh, here's a good analogy. Um, and if, if you... And you, you, you need to understand that this is a real entity. This is 1%. There are 70 million of them on the planet. And they're wandering around in the places that you go, around your kids. They, and and this is, here, here's the best analogy I can give you. So, um, I'm going to give two answers. 99% of people would give one answer. And 1% would give the other answer. So... You are hiking, and uh, you're kind of deep in the woods. You're pretty far out there, you know. Um, but you hear something, you know, uh, and you notice it's crying, and you and you kind of look around, and you you notice over there, there's a crying child, and you can tell that they must have lost their way or something. There's nobody around. Um, and you're, so, so there's two thoughts, two thoughts that come up. There's two thoughts you can have. A, maybe I should go over there and ask that kid if they're okay and help them. Or the other thought is, I wonder if I could, uh, rape that kid and then, um, kill them and cook them up and eat them. And, uh. So 99% of people are going to have one answer, 1% are going to have the other. And if you're in the 99%, you picked A. Uh, how, how can I help that kid? But the 1%, okay, they chose B. And so when you have this frame of your life as an ignorant sheep. You have no concept that that type of entity is wandering around among us. Now, the third category that I was talking about in, in the real narrative of life uh, is the ones who are aware that the crazy fuckers who would choose B are out there. They're the ones who know they exist. They're the ones who've experienced that type of evil. And, and they're, they're the ones who 
are concerned for the rest of everyone else who don't see it. And I want to raise that number. I actually want to raise that number so high that 99% of people are in that third category, the awareness category. I, I want the, the sheep category to slowly turn into that third category so that we have two. We have the aware and we have the psychos. And then, and then eventually I want to remove the psychos completely so that all we have is a population of people who choose the answer A in every situation. And it's going to take a long time to get there, but I think that veganism is the key to overcoming that. It's, it's that we have to get everyone to understand that these things are out there, and then we have to remove them eventually. Um, it will take time. Um, and there, there's a number of ways to do this now, and I don't want to go completely full throttle into the reasons why I think it's prudent and, and even paramount that we do this, but I'll just say as we walk further into even more terrible uh, uh, and destructive weapons as we walk into the, the era of AGI and... Um, quantum computing and, and other things, the possibility of a psychopath uh, gaining access to anything that might have power such as this, it will spell perhaps worse than the extinction of our species. It's something that if we don't nail it down, I think could bite consciousness in the ass. Do you know what I'm saying? Consciousness. Um, it's not just a matter of saving the species. It's, I mean, Owl Man is better. And if you, if you know, let me say, Owl Man is better than what I can imagine. Um, so, and if you don't know who Owl Man is, he, he's from DC. He is a perfectly nihilistic individual, perhaps the scariest villain that I've ever seen. Um, he just thinks that the only meaningful thing to do is to travel to uh, through the multiverse to um, any universe where there is existence and wipe it out in every possible universe. So <laughs> I, I think that that is more optimistic than what I can imagine could happen. So, um, and anyone who is familiar with um, terrible movies like Hostel or something can fully understand just how uh, awful it could get for consciousness. And, and I'm talking about consciousness as a monolith, as a, as a massive entity of existence. And this is the thing about psychopaths is that they are they are not conscious. They're its. They're things. They are anti-consciousness. They hate consciousness. They want to, they want, and like in this video with, with Carbstrong, you can just see he's just doing any micro-rationalization to make any ground at all towards increasing the level of suffering and death. And that's all they do. They, they wander around the world trying to convince people that we just need to make people suffer more. And animals. And, and that, that's genuinely what they are. They're evil things. And we must wipe them out eventually. But before we do that, we have to outnumber them. We have to get people aware we have to get people aware that they exist it's important it, it's just as important as veganism and they are the direct opponents to veganism they are the the dogmatic no i absolutely want to eat a, a steak in front of your face kind of people it's they, they're not just indoctrinated they're not just uh incepted brainwashed 
These are the people who believe it to their core because it's what they are. They want that suffering. They are sadistic, malicious, evil things. They don't deserve life. They don't deserve to be near us, and they shouldn't be near us because they're an inferior, broken disease. They are the cancer of humanity. And unless we're actually working to raise awareness, uh, people will continue to be victimized. They will continue to disappear by the hundreds of thousands every year, or millions, I think, uh, every year, in, into weird places, just mysteriously gone. And then you you hear about fucking red rooms and in the dark web and other creepy, nasty shit. And it's because of them. They are the sole reason. Normal people aren't getting brainwashed into doing that kind of thing. They, they, they might have tricked us all into eating meat for a while. Sure. But nobody got tricked into the Red Room shit. Nobody got tricked into the, um, the, the forest abduction shit. No, no, and people disappear all the time. I mean, you can go look at the police stats. You can go watch police videos about this. They talk about this. We have to destroy the psychopaths. And the only way we can do that is by raising awareness that they exist. Again, don't... If, if you have any uh, inkling in your body to regard them as humans or that they have rights or something, you are mistaken. They are not like us. They are not us. They have the their fucking limbic system doesn't work. They have no capacity to feel any sort of connection to any living thing at all. You are a thing to them. If you want to be respectful to them, you should think of them as a thing, a dangerous thing that wants to kill and hurt your family and everyone you love. And it, and if you can see that, you know that they should be removed. So. Um, I guess this video is getting long, uh, just think about it, you know, um, be nice to the animals, be nice to the people, love.